what you're looking for from the boys uh, tomorrow night uh, against Dortmund? Yeah, so far, I think we have a, we have a good trip. Um, you see the defense are very exciting about our games. Um, also, our, we, had, we get uh, beautiful receptions everywhere uh, in every city we, uh, we enter, in New York, San Diego, Houston. So, um, yeah, great reception. And, yeah, we are happy with it. We want to make contact with our fans in USA, and I think uh, we succeeded in that. And for tomorrow, yeah, we, so we go to Las Vegas, not a, I think, a big city. And also there, we want to do the same. We want to, to show ourselves to our fans in Las Vegas. Uh, we hope for a full stadium. Uh, we have an attractive opponent. It's a good opponent. So we, we, uh, we get a good test. We've got James Rhodes as well. Yeah, hi, Eric. Good yeah, to speak hi. with you. Uh, hi. I wanted to find out, um, with a bit more of the earlier transfers this summer and some reports now that you might be getting that striker you've been looking for, uh, do you feel better equipped than at the start last summer to kind of implement the way you want to play? And is that the main focus of these preseason games for you? I think the, the big difference is um, in... A reference to last year is we now we have a foundation uh, with this squad and we, we constructed we built that foundation uh, in last season and so the squad and um, um, the way of play and now uh, we have to uh, find the right players uh, to fit in and who can help to raise the bar and i think we succeeded that uh, with andre onana we succeeded with mesa mount uh, and now we are looking for a striker Andy, you're Thank you. There. Please go ahead, Andy. Hi, Andy Amasta, Las Vegas Review Journal. Uh, Eric, just how's the uh, atmosphere been since you guys landed in Las Vegas? How have the facilities been, and kind of what are you looking forward to playing in a Legion Stadium? No, we are we are still in San Diego, eh? so we have to wait um, when we arrive in in Las Vegas. But yeah, um, I think it's. Um, a fantastic ambience in a very um, well uh, f uh, f uh, uh, well facilitated stadium uh, so the ambience will be great and we are really looking forward um, to that stadium uh, the entourage again uh, we want to make the connection with the fans we want to to bring a proper game on the pitch so yeah that is for everyone is excited and I think we find in Borussia Dortmund a very good opponent, second in the Bundesliga, so we will get tested. So yeah, I think everything is there to have a good game and to finish our tour uh, USA for this season. Simon, thank you. Simon, please go ahead. Hi, Eric. Uh, Hi. Thanks for your time. Um, when you come on these kind of trips, obviously you as a coach, you want to be getting your players in the pre-season, doing the work, the drills, the fitness work and everything else that you need for preparation. Is it difficult to find the balance between doing that and all the commercial things, the meeting the fans, the opportunities and everything? Is it a difficult balance and have you been able to find that balance, do you think? It's, it's true, it's a thin line. Um, but uh, at Manchester United, football is one, two, three. And around, uh, we organize um, for the commercial, f for the media, uh, uh, for the fans, um, uh, our, our activities. But it's important uh, as a football player, as a football manager, coaches, you have to acknowledge uh, that is, uh, you play football for the people. And um, yeah, we want to win, but also we want to win in a certain way. And we want to have connection with our fans. And I think um, it was very successful uh, what we have done so far. And I see also advantages in team building because we are two weeks with uh, a very uh, large group on the way. Uh, so the players, uh, the uh, social way, but also the, the coaches with the players, uh, all the rest of the staff. And uh, so yeah, uh, as, as one united we go across the USA, or uh, you, you go into the, the tour, and it, it helps, uh, it supports uh, that we uh, are one club uh, with uh, the same uh, mindset and the same um, culture we want to, um, uh, to have. So I think it's uh, really supportive, uh, the tour, every season again. 
Thanks. Patrick, please go ahead. This is CNN. Yeah, hi there, Eric. Uh, many thanks for your time. Uh, Patrick from CNN World Sport. Um, after last season's very impressive campaign, I want to ask you, what are expectations going into the new season? And what are the qualities specifically of Rasmus Hoyland? What would he bring to the team? Uh, first of all, I can't talk about a player who is still under contract uh, in another club. And yeah, and the first question was, yeah, we have to raise the bar, but um, but to raise the bar, that is necessary because the competition is very strong, and uh, we have many uh, uh, competitors uh, to to so to battle for the first four positions in the Premier League. So it's going to be, I, I think, uh, a huge battle. It's not between two or three clubs. Uh, it's between seven, eight, nine clubs uh, who all can uh, finish in the end in the top four. So, yeah, it's going to be a really excited league, I'm sure. Marcus Rashford recently signed a new deal. What are his talents? What does he bring to the team? And what are you expecting from him in the months of the season ahead? Uh, also for for Rashi, we expect raise the bar, and he had last year a good season, but yeah, that doesn't give guarantees for another uh, great season. So everything has to be right. First, um, uh, his base, his foundation, like uh, attitude, lifestyle, etc. Uh, giving every training um, his best, but also to work on his game and work on the way of play. So. Um, uh, for himself, but in the team, and yeah, so uh, what we are looking for uh, is for goals, and yeah, Ressi, um, in this moment, uh, he proved um, he has a very good goal-scoring record, and but also for him, he wants to make the next step and score more goals than he did last season. Okay, last question, Adam Geigerman, please go ahead. Eric, can you just talk a little bit about the lineup we can expect to see tomorrow night and, and some of the players you're looking for for a little bit of extra time from uh, out on the field against Dortmund? I think we we will present a strong team, um, but we have a squad, and um, it, our team is not only 11 players, and um, yeah, everyone has to uh, get a, a, the chance, uh, so the opportunity to play himself into the team. And all across the season, we will, again, we are looking for 60 games and you can't do it with 11 players. So we need um, uh, 20 outfield players, 21 outfield players. I hope that some some youngsters present them themselves. Um, so including the goalkeepers, you're, you're looking for a squad from, from 24, 25. And this squad have to um, go into the competition. And that, uh, uh, so every player has to contribute to that. So we need um, to give the players uh, the opportunity to present himself and also to get the minutes in the legs. But uh, first of all, is always to, to work on the way of play. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we look forward to seeing you um, in Las Vegas tomorrow.